Phoenix Children's Hospital a number okay. of years ago. And uh, Gabe, first of all, okay. tell me uh, what it was that, that um, made it necessary for you to come here, or what you thought it was. Okay. Well, when my name is okay. for the next uh, I was afflicted with that as a kid, uh -huh. and there have been numerous years where I've developed pneumonia. Okay, great. Thank you. It was early. Pretty much the first day of the school, I was going to come to the school. But this particular time in 97, my nurse was getting worse. And one thing led to another to where I also had to be rushed to the ER. They had to be like, 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 they had my illness had been more worse and worse, and suddenly um, my left right hand was black. And at that point, when I was in the initial care unit, um, the last thing I remember was all the doctors and nurses up in the hospital bed, and I ended up just being at home. Uh, four days after that, I woke up, and for some reason or another, I lost the ability to do my blood loss. And at that point, I knew that was something that was working on. was a lot of it. And you were 14 years old, man. What 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 did they find in the sign? Well, I was in the intensive care unit for about a month, and doctors were baffled as to how I had so much capacity to complete paralysis. At that point, I spent a month in the intensive care unit. I was attached to a ventilator. I had to learn to read all over again. And after my month in the intensive care unit, I spent another eight months. And at the substitute unit here at UCH, uh, learning to breathe all over again and trying to relate really with my mother. Uh, we went through about three different diagnoses, and probably about two years after that, doctors finally decided that I was diagnosed with Hopkins disease. Hopkins disease, not Hodgkin's disease. Hop I've never heard of it. Correct. It's a rare form of polio that's prevalent in genetics. And there's generally about 30 documented cases of this disease in the world. And it generally occurs after severe abdominal episodes. And it essentially causes the nervous system to be moved. Yes, and what it does do, for some reason or another, uh, you generally lose uh, arm tension in the arm or leg. And at that point, doctors um, realized that I was the only documented case in the world with all the hormones that they had. Oh, boy, aren't you a lucky guy. <laughs> I am six million people in this world and decided to choose me, but hey, you got to look at the best of it. And Gabe, you, you really have looked at the best of us. I, you know, I, I want to fast forward now, and I want you to tell me uh, how you are still involved with the Phoenix Children's Hospital. Absolutely. Uh, like UCH, I'm celebrating my 30th birthday this year, and after spending such a long time with UCH, I realized that it, it was important for me to give back to people that helped me overcome it and help me with the uh, so I tried to come up with. Hang on a second. Here we go. Uh, so I uh, teamed up with a bunch of other folks. All right. Thank you so very much for uh, the former oh, patient care model. Thank you so and much. And one of the groups called Patients and Family Alumni Union. And. And then Eugene, hold on. Uh, 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 at that point, no, uh, no, we wanted to uh, come up with a way where our patients can get back to the hospital. So, and what we decided is we formed the patient and family alumni leadership team, and the better way to learn is we come up with a way to sort of promote philanthropy and adulthood with our patients. And uh, we are happy to announce that we've uh, raised money throughout the last three years here at PCH, and we've funded a bunch of uh, projects here within the hospital. Uh, some in particular are uh, some interactive mobile apps that the hospital uses here. Uh, if you go on the iTunes store and look up the Institute of Hospital, we've created the Simply Sane app that is essentially an interactive encyclopedia like, that's offered to for patients. Because when patients come to the hospital, they're scared with procedures and uh, all the technical drugs that goes around. So we have this app created that allows doctors to provide an interactive map that lets uh, doctors show what these procedures are like for patients and help them feel more energy. So it's really exciting and I'm glad that they're going to help out more you. Boy, it's, it, it, it's great to have you here. By the way, uh, uh, Magna Cum Laude graduate of ASU in journalism competition for yeah. So Gabe, the message here for you to 
this morning is, come on, get on board. Let's help out, right? Absolutely. I think everybody can do what they can, uh, whether that's five bucks or five hundred bucks, try to do a little bit of love more. Uh, I know my time here at PCH is something that I'll never forget and I'll be completely appreciative with uh, for the rest of my life. And so, uh, not just me, I like to do what I can to help the patients and families here at PCH. And uh, I urge everyone out there to do what they can to help out and uh, every little bit can. There you go. And you know what, and thanks for being here, you know, and the work that you continue to do. Dave Trujillo here at uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital. It's the give